We often use email to send short documents and other file types. How do you let someone know that your message has an attachment? Let's look. To Martin Myers, Subject, Instructions for the Agreement. Hello, Martin. Attached, you will find a three-page PDF copy of the agreement. Please print it out and mail a signed copy back to me. Pages 1 and 2 require only your initials. Page 3 requires a full signature and your printed name. Once I receive your signed copy, I can process the payment. Thank you. Regards, Caitlin. Caitlin's message is short and clear. Look at her language. In a more formal message, this wording is common. Attached you'll find. Or you may see a variation. Please find a three-page PDF copy of the agreement attached. In any case, Caitlin is ready to send off this message. Writing email in English with Jennifer. One mistake we've all likely made is to refer to an attachment in the message and then forget to attach the file before sending the message off. Or sometimes we might have sent the wrong file by mistake. Here are some useful expressions to cover a range of situations. Please see the attached file. As requested, I've attached the PDF file. Please find my resume attached. I'm attaching my resume for your review. I didn't receive the attachment in your last email. Would you please resend it? I apologize. I forgot to attach the file in my previous message. So sorry. I sent the wrong file. Please disregard that one. See new attachment. Thank you. More than one verb form works, especially at informal email. I'm sending you some photos. I'm attaching some photos. I've attached some photos for you. Photos attached. The photos you wanted are attached. Sorry, I didn't get the file. Can you resend it? Sorry, I sent the wrong file. Here's the right one. Sorry, forgot to attach the file. Here it is. Here are some final tips about attached files. Remember to identify any attachments you're sending. Don't assume that your reader will know that files have been sent. Remember to clarify between attachments and other file sharing alternatives. Let's look at one more model that does that. Hi, Ty. I was going to send the files as attachments, but they're quite large. I just put them in Dropbox and sent you an invitation. Just in case, here's the direct link to our shared folder. Let me know if you have any trouble. Dave. Note how Dave included a hyperlink. Instead of copying and pasting a long URL, he inserted a link. This helps the message look more concise. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies.